All right, welcome on in. I'm going to do a different kind of reading than what I normally do. We're going to talk about topics that are trending on Twitter right now. As many of you know, a lot of times these topics uh, don't catch on until maybe 24 to 48 hours after they're trending on Twitter. So it's like, yeah, people are going to be talking about this if they're not already. And it has to do with Elon Musk. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, Twitter getting sold to Elon Musk. Very hot topic, opening up a lot of conversation on there about who the owners of Twitter have been and free speech and what is the future going to be. Oh, a lot of things. And so with this card reading, I'm going to try to see if we can get some answers on the future of Twitter. Uh, some people are wanting to know, is the dawn going to return? You know, we've recently had people also lost on there, censored, like the Babylon Bee. Apparently you can't do satire anymore. The establishment's been cracking down on that and uh, libs of TikTok. So, <clears throat> oh, myself, I was even taken down for showing a video compilation, all completely factual, of news reporters and political officials. But again, uh, people are getting taken down. So now that Elon is in over there, will these people be brought back, particularly the Don, right? People are really, um, some people are up in arms about this. Some people are just cheering it on. We're hearing reports that the Don is saying he's not going to come back. We'll see what the cards say. Um, also, a lot of people are, you know, kind of low-key making jokes about how the workers at Twitter are taking this, how the establishment is taking this, that they're in, in full meltdown mode. So let's see what the cards have to say. Um, also want to look at, um, you know, what what's going to happen with Section 230? Will it be reformed? Because a lot of these social media platforms have been flip-flopping on, you know, they want the benefits of being treated like a publisher, but... Um, they don't want the consequences of, of being treated like a platform where people have free speech, you know, that needs to be protected. So uh, we'll, we'll see if the cards tell us a little bit about that. I know a lot of people have been discussing, you know, uh, what's going to happen. Uh, so I really, what I'm going to start off with is a past, present, future card. We'll do some oracles as well. We'll clarify as needed. But I really want to see, you know, what's going to happen with this change of, of hands, okay? Um, is Elon gonna come in and expose the algorithm? Is he going to make it more public knowledge about the data mining? What's been going on with content moderation, as they like to call it? Um, is he going to expose uh, all the shadow banning that's been going on? I, for a fact, I know that I'm shadow banned because there's actually a platform where you can, you can run a test to find out if you're shadow banned, and I did, and I... By the way, if y'all wanna find me on Twitter, that's where I put a lot of my my political content. I'm at Warrior Woman 212 on Twitter. I'm also on Gab, Getter, Rumble. Um, yeah, so if you want to reach me on any of those platforms, you can, but I'm most active on Twitter. So um, yeah, let's see how this is also going to affect the other social media platforms. And I do want to kind of play devil's advocate a bit here and see if we can get any, any ideas on... <clears throat> Um, you know, this whole issue of bots, because there's been a lot of suspicion that uh, the majority of people on Twitter who have been towing the line for the left or the establishment are not actually real people, they're bots. So there's been a lot of debate, uh, like, you know, about how to authenticate real persons on there versus bots. And um, some people are concerned that Elon is going to bring in... Um, you know, a, a digital ID, social currency, that it's going to pave the way for some very nefarious type of technocracy, worse than what we've already seen. Um, other people, like, say, Michael Saylor, who's really a big name in the Bitcoin community, has been saying, oh, well, we can do this easily and um, in an honorable way by, you know, just having content creators voluntarily get some kind of cryptocurrency to authenticate their identity, that they're a real person, basically, without giving up your, your privacy, okay, which I think is a novel idea, but will Elon go for it, so a lot of things, a lot of things that we can talk about, let's, let's see what the cards have to say, and as I said before, I've been shuffling for past, present, future, and so I'm feeling led to cut the deck now, past, present, future. 
So the foundation in the past, what I'm seeing is we have a king of wands, which is, you know, somebody who is in a leadership position, somebody who, you know, deals with media, marketing, advertising, a very visionary, forward moving type of person. Presently, uh, we have Princess of Cups where uh, this is similar to Page of Cups of I think there's some regrets and sorrows, okay? Like um, maybe somebody's not sorry, okay? But they are regretful that things have maybe, I, I'm hearing gone down the wrong path, not in the way, I don't know, is this Jack Dorsey? Well, you know, Jack Dorsey is a Scorpio, but I will say he's also an entrepreneur and the King of Wands can definitely represent King of Wands. Um, somebody's in regret here. We'll, we'll go a little deeper and find out who, but in the future, we've got Four of Pentacles. Very interesting. So... There's some restraint. There's some holding back. I'm going to figure this out, okay? But let's let's go a little deeper. Oh, yes. Okay. I do have a sense that this is Jack Dorsey, actually, um, because I'm seeing a fallout here, and we do know that he, he left. Um, but this is also, I'm getting, like, something within the, the company itself was not structurally sound. I am also getting that there are some integrity issues, and I don't know why I'm hearing a self-betrayal that somebody betrayed themselves and their own their own values. And it might have been through restructuring of the company, which brought about some unexpected changes that were not anticipated, and maybe feeling that he had to kind of surrender to these changes. But this brought about some type of awareness. By the way, it is interesting that, you know, recently it's come out on Twitter. He has made public statements saying that he really regrets the role that he played in the whole social media sphere, industry, for lack of better wording. But it does seem that, you know, there was some kind of collapse here or chaos and I am also getting that there's an energy of something that maybe he felt this was forced upon him or not, not avoid, it was not um, avoidable, okay? And with the Princess of Pentacles, it might have been, again, money related. Somebody came in and made an offer of money, but I've seen with the five of wands here, again, more conflict, more struggle, more strife, people at cross purposes, at cross will, and... I'm honestly getting a vibe. This is Jack Dorsey. Okay, now, currently with the Princess of Cups, there's a lot of regret. And we have the Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So, I think what the regret is over has to do with... I'm getting something about isolation here. Okay. People being outed, people feeling isolated, guarded. I'm getting that there's now this atmosphere or culture that's been cultivated on the platform. I'm hearing cancel culture. Okay. That has been cultivated on there where everybody is guarded. Everybody. And I'm hearing it's been a battlefield on there. Um, there has been a lack of cohesion. Well, yes, obviously with these two, um, definitely that look at the two fives. We're still in the midst of this. Well, I obviously change and struggle, but I'm also, I'm also hearing change of hands. This is about who's in power, okay? Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, I think that people are now feeling as though I just heard backfired, okay? Things have backfired and re realizing that they need to nurture something. They need to take a more down-to-earth practical approach. I'm hearing being more based, okay? I, and that's a common term, but I don't know why that came up. Okay, so in the future, we've got four pinnacles. I'm not happy to see this. It's some kind of holding back or, oh, seven of chalices, six of swords, and three of pentacles. It looks like people are going to try to, you know, move on from the smoke and mirrors that have been happening on Twitter. The illusion, the illusion that we, we have a winning team and a losing team, or the illusion that there is only a right way of thinking and a wrong, it's like wrong think versus right think and, you know, all of this. Okay. Um, not being able to see behind the veil of who is actually 
owning people, right? You think that this is, right, like Jack Dorsey is running this, but who's actually running Jack Dorsey? And even today, it's trending on Twitter. You know, people are now talking about the Saudi prince who owns significant shares in the company. People are talking about B-Rock and V-Guard. I'm going to not say it out loud completely because um, it's almost like talking about S-O-R-O-S. Like you, th these people are very powerful and you start talking about them and, and then they want to take you down. And if they don't now, they might maybe later because I, I literally have made videos on YouTube where it was, you know, the policy was okay to talk about it in that moment. But then a couple years later, they change the policy and they make it retroactive and they go back and they look at videos I produced two years ago where I was saying that word or that whatever and they take it down. So I am going to be speaking more in code, people. Um, I'll get better at it as time goes on. Um, but y'all just have to bear with me. It's something we have to do as content creators. And so, yeah, here we are again with great power. And um, there's definitely been power plays going on with that tower card, with the five of wands, with, um, you know, this entrepreneur here that's at the head of it. And then with the pentacles currently, this is money, money, money issues. Okay, who who's holding the coin? But also maybe people feeling that their strength of carriage, character is being tested by those in authority. This is a card having to do with leadership, influence, potency, a lot, a lot of power, especially with that king of wands. But I do see progress made, and I really feel the progress being made is around moving on from the smoke and mirrors that have been going on on these platforms. Let's see. Um, let me pull another card. Is Donald Trump going to return to Twitter? That came in reverse. Two of Cups. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that that's that's. It looks like that's not going to happen. Uh, at least for now. Um, and he's indicated that. Okay, uh, that flipped. Yeah, I think he's he's done for now with um, the world card completed disunion. And and that's what he said publicly is that you know he why he's going to go on to Truth Social where he's at. I, I've tried to get on over there by the way, and they're they've got a slow start. And I haven't been able to fully get on yet because, I mean, they're, you know, they're not totally up and running uh, fully. Uh, they got to, you know, they're new. They got to work things out. Um, but he wants, he wants to be on his platform, which is totally understandable. Um, but, you know, somebody made an, a really good comment that, you know, it's, it's kind of going to be an echo chamber over there because most people that are over there are people who support or voted for him. So we're not going to get a good mix of people. We're not going to open up conversation to really um, learn from one another. That just popped up. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So again, I'm seeing that, um, well, there's going to be a slow and steady improvement on this issue of regret and betrayal. Okay, I think, uh, again, this is in the context of Donald Trump and my apologies for my little kitty cat. But I, I think that for the time being, the answer is no. Okay, he's done. But in time, I do feel that he might make some efforts, right? His son is still on there. There's still people within the Trump family that are still on there. So I think that um, there's still a lot of focus for him on being betrayed and the, and the loss of, of the platform. So uh, I think that maybe in time we will see some improvement. It's just going to be slow and steady. I think that right now I'm getting the feeling from these cards that he's going to see where this goes. Like it's it's too soon to say, okay? Um Oh, I want to know, and I think you do too, how is Twitter, how are the Twitter workers handling this? How do they feel about what's going on? And I'm feeling that one, that one. Ooh, oh my gosh, anything more? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 The foundation, creative, um, expressive. Well, honestly, I'm getting like people are, you know, emoting a lot over there. There's a lot of emoting because they're worried. Um, they might feel very concerned about their future and what's going to happen with their job. Uh, they are jealous. Like, I don't know if they feel like they, uh, like they're entitled to run Twitter. Like, I don't know if it's a mob mentality, like, Hey, right. I saw a poll, uh, research showing that 98% of people who donated to a political campaign, uh, I forget, I think it was like 2020 or something like that. Um, 98% of Twitter workers who donated for a political campaign, um, they donated to the Democrats and only 2% to the Republicans. And again, I'm not taking sides because those of you who know me know 
I'm a political atheist. I think both parties are right. That's just my two cents. But there is a clear bias at Twitter, and I'm getting from this card that um, they're like, hey, uh, wait a minute, uh, I, I'm getting some kind of hijacked, derailed is what are the words that I'm hearing, and they're stressed about it, and they feel like, well, what can we do? He's holding the money bags back over here, um, and I'm being brought back to this currently. Now I'm getting more clarity of, um, ooh, it's like somebody getting served their own medicine. Where am I getting this? Getting a taste of their own medicine. Like, okay, so you outed people and there was economic retribution, right? People have lost their jobs and gotten fired over this type of stuff, um, over political views, but now it's coming back on them. Wait a minute. If I speak up in this workplace now, am I going to be put out of a job? What do I have to do to nurture and, you know, but wait a minute, I'm stressed out. I don't like this because I don't really agree with this. I don't know if I can toe the line here for Eon, Elon. And there's a lot of, I'm seeing guardedness. I feel that this current energy is, is speaking a lot to what's going on with the workers at Twitter. And, um, oh, um, let, let's, let's hear about the establishment. I want to know what kind of shadow energy is at work with the establishment. Oh, so I'm getting this, this feeling of they don't really, they don't really care. They're going, it's all strategy. It's all tactics to them. It's all chess move. They got checkmated, but you know, they'll be back for another round. It's just a matter of time. These people are relentless. They're almost robotic. Okay. Oh yeah. Disconnected, disconnected. So, oh, this is weird. Oh, you said this is confirming what I'm thinking. It's, they're very fixated on their goal, and it's almost, it's all strategy. Like, I'm getting that emotionally, I'm not getting a lot of emotions off of these people. One-sided. Um, wow. I just heard they own the board. They own the board. Okay, and I'm getting a dual meaning for that. They believe they own the board that runs Twitter. And the other mean is they believe they own the board that is right. What, what, what the world plays on. We all play on this, right? If they see this life, this matrix as a chess board that they own, that's super creepy. I, I kind of now want to go actually, let me see if we can get any kind of emotions off of them at all. Cause this is stone cold. This looks just stone cold calculating right here. There's that regret again. I don't think they're sorry. All right. I do feel that they regret. Um, oh, okay. So I get this into it. They, they regret allowing, allowing Elon to get as much power as he's gotten. Um, there is a feeling of um, having lost control. Like, I don't know why I'm getting like, they got checkmated. Okay. They got checkmated and they don't like, like, they feel like maybe they let somebody get too big for Right. Somebody went rogue on them. They don't like it. Um, is Elon going to expose the algorithm? I feel with um, the strength card, I, I am getting that he's going to have a lot of courage and power in this position. Um, but he's, I'm getting that he's going to tackle the conflict. He's going to say, I'm getting also a very censorship vibe Um where he's going to be putting a spotlight, boldly putting a spotlight on this censorship issue and confronting it head on. I think he's going to try to put it behind. Um, this is, again, a very, I don't know, like a, I'm getting some kind of Lion King type of leader of the pack vibe. Um, it's kind of Leo-ish, which is King of Wands, right? I'm just... <laughs> All right, so don't take that literally. I do feel that um, this is more about ascension, okay? This is more about people. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting some transhumanism stuff, uh, the soul, divinity. Um, I think that he is going to put a spotlight on this issue. And, and, and people, there's, again, I'm getting a battle of wills. This is the second time we got that five of, right? Five of wands was over there, five of wands here. Same card, different deck. So... Uh, look, there's going to continue to be competition. There's going to continue to be conflict, a battle of wills going on. I told you the establishment will be relentless, relentless, okay? Uh, they're very fixated on achieving their side, their side winning at all costs. I just feel like what's going to happen is he's going to put a spotlight on 
um, how this conflicts with us ascending on a soul level. I, I, that's kind of the reading I'm getting off of that. Um, and yeah, and that's in response to my question about is he going to expose the algorithm, data mining, moderation, as I like to call it, uh, shadow banning. Um, yeah, I do. I, I think the answer is yes, he boldly will. But I think it's going to it's going to raise some issues, particularly with the establishment the, I'm seeing the conflict definitely coming from the establishment. But I'm also getting with this this soul connection card here that this is all by divine plan. I'm going to have to look more at Elon's natal chart. I think this is fascinating because I'm getting some kind of uh, off of him that there's t some type of there's something very unique about his soul signature, uh, very above average, okay, or out of the ordinary. Um, Almost like Donald Trump, you know, and again, love him or hate him. He's not an ordinary person. I guess this is what I'm saying. I'm I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, all right. How is this going to affect other social media platforms? How is this going to affect? All right. Wow. Okay. So I am seeing, again, more of the sun here. Uh, right, that card is ruled by the, or influenced by the sun. And here we go with the actual sun card next to the queen of swords. So I'm um, seeing that this is putting a spotlight on communications, thought, and people may be becoming a more independent, more clear, more direct in their communications and uh, getting more objective, more objectivity, because there's a, there's a hearing out of, of different alternative perspectives, right? Uh, Queen of Swords is like an Aquarian. By the way, I'm an Aquarian, so I can tell you, you know, we're very open-minded to the point that we could be really out there, right? This is kind of out there for me to do tarot, is it not? Um, but I, I'm seeing that there is uh, more truth and clarity coming out on these social media platforms. Um, Wow, I'm hearing um, it is it is putting the pressure on them to come into higher integrity, higher alignment, back to this issue of ascension, ascending to a higher standard, and that's going to be the overall effect. Now, I want to ask, is, um, is Elon going to try to impose some kind of ID system that would actually work for the transhumanism agenda with the social credit system and the digital ID. Okay. Seven of Wands, I do think that um, there's going to be a pushback, okay? And again, I'm getting this kind of with the star card here, an Aquarian um, a astrological um, destiny type of vibe, right? I've been getting that over there as well, but it's almost like... I, I get the feeling that, again, these people, the establishment, they're going to try, all right? And I don't know if this is going to be with something having to do with warfare and what's going on globally right now, um, that they would maybe try. I, mean, I just heard cyber attack, okay? Um, I do feel that Elon is going to try to resist it, uh, and people are going to work together to uh, transcend and overcome any kind of attacks or any pushback. I do, again, feel there will be a concerted effort to bring this in. But again, I'm seeing humanity here pushing back on this and coming together and saying, you know, cyber attacks may be real and, and war might be real, but how can we rise against this? Um, and that just fell out. Five of Swords could be a lot of arguing about how to do it or disagreement about how to do it, but I do see people pushing back. I feel that humanity is raising its consciousness. People are uh, opening up more, um, dialogues are going to open up more, awareness is going to open up more, so there will be more talking and conversing about how to achieve um, certain goals of protecting people and protecting the truth without censorship. How do we do this, okay? Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a brand new foundation being laid, and that's a damn good thing considering we had the background on Twitter with a very weak foundation or it was structurally compromised after it went through some kind of restructuring. Well, now we've got a brand new foundation where it can be built upon trust, right? This was an integrity issue. This is about a solid foundation built on trust. Okay, so what about uh, this whole Michael Saylor uh, suggestion that we should... 
ID people through crypto or to basically integrate crypto into the Twitter sphere. What about that? I'm feeling this one. Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. Okay. I am getting that. Um, hmm, I got to clarify that. Let me moving forward to what? Because I'm getting that there's this is a really good idea. Okay. Moving towards what? Okay. Page of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. I just heard smart contracts. Okay. Smart contracts. I do see that this is a really great idea and that there will be something uh, victorious, like some victory guaranteed by moving on towards uh, talks and entertaining the thought of partnering with people legally in a way that stabilizes connection and I'm seeing a lot about communication here as well but bringing harmony to communications online but this is through fair exchange and I, I am seeing a contract here and I'm seeing a legal partnership over here and so yeah I do think it's very possible we could be moving in that direction I hope y'all have enjoyed this very different type of reading and I'm going to try to do more of them if you like it make sure you can you know give me feedback let me know you know um obviously like it share it subscribe leave a comment whatever you feel comfortable doing some type of feedback to let me know that you want to see more of these videos until next time wishing you all the best be blessed